First Samuel chapter 3. The Lord speaks to Samuel. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel served the Lord by assisting Eli. Now in those days, messages from the Lord were very rare, and visions were quite uncommon. One night Eli, who was almost blind by now, had gone to bed. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle near the ark of God. Suddenly the Lord called out, Samuel. Yes? Samuel replied. What is it? He got up and ran to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, Eli replied. Go back to bed. So he did. Then the Lord called out again. Samuel. Again, Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, my son. Go back to bed. Samuel did not yet know the Lord because he had never had a message from the Lord before. So the Lord called a third time, and once more Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? Then Eli realized it was the Lord who was calling the boy. So he said to Samuel, Go and lie down again. And if someone calls again, say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to bed. And the Lord came and called as before. Samuel! Samuel! And Samuel replied, Speak, your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, I am about to do a shocking thing in Israel. I am going to carry out all my threats against Eli and his family from beginning to end. I have warned him that judgment is coming upon his family forever because his sons are blaspheming God and he hasn't disciplined them. So I have vowed that the sins of Eli and his sons will never be forgiven by sacrifices or offering. Samuel speak for the Lord. Samuel stay in bed until morning and got up and opened the doors of the tabernacle as usual. He was afraid to tell Eli what the Lord had said to him. But Eli called out to him. Samuel, my son. Here I am. What did the Lord tell you? Tell me everything. And may God strike you and even kill you if you hide anything from me. So Samuel told Eli everything. He didn't hold anything back. It is the Lord's will. Let him do what he think is best. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him. And everything Samuel said proved to be reliable. And all Israel, from Dan in the north to Beersheba in the south, knew that Samuel was confirmed as a prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh and gave messages to Samuel there at the tabernacle. And Samuel's word went out to all the people of Israel. And that's the end of chapter 3. Let's continue on to chapter 4 in my next video.